Use the templates from the tool panel as well as the feeler gauge blade to check for bottom piece wear. See tolerances in datasheet 1082. If the bottom piece is worn more than allowed in the datasheet, it must be replaced. Grind the outer seat of the bottom piece if necessary. Use Carborundum 200 and the special grinding tool from the tool panel. Turn the tool in both directions. Thoroughly clean the bottom piece. Heat the U-sealing ring in 100 degree hot water for about 5 minutes. Immediately fit the ring on the bottom piece. Use the oil cylinder to lift the valve housing. Place the valve housing on the bottom piece. Then fit the locking bolts on the bottom piece. Inspect and evaluate the valve spindle and valve seat according to Volume 1, Supplement 7073 of the Instruction Manual. Fit the lifting tool on the top of the valve spindle. Lift up the spindle. Use the template tool from the tool panel. Check that wear on the valve seat does not exceed the permitted amount as shown in datasheet 1082 in volume 2 of the instruction manual. Check the valve spindle for wear. Use a vernier caliper. Measuring points and permitted tolerances can be seen in Datasheet 1082 and Procedure 9082 in Volume 2 of the Instruction Manual. Fit the valve spindle in the valve housing. Use the oil cylinder to lift the housing. Detach the safety valve from the air cylinder. Clean the air cylinder with compressed air. Fit the safety valve in the pressure testing equipment.
Check the aperture pressure. See datasheet 1082. If the aperture pressure is not correct, loosen the locking nut. Use a screwdriver to adjust to the correct aperture pressure. Check the aperture pressure again. Fit a new gasket and O-ring on the safety valve. Tighten to the correct torque, as in datasheet 1082. Fit the air cylinder on the valve housing, taking care not to damage the O-rings on the guide bushing. Thoroughly clean the air piston. Check the Teflon ring and the O-rings and replace them if necessary. Prior to fitting the new Teflon rings, they must be heated in 100 degree water for about 5 minutes before fitting inside and outside the air piston. Fit the Teflon rings from the 100 degree water.